Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today I just wanted to go over one of those scenarios where the charge is correct, the charge is correct, but the uh, temperature difference between the return and supply registers are actually lower than 18 to 21 degrees. We actually have about 14 and a half degrees to maybe 15 degrees between the return and supply. And even so, what I did is after checking the largest return grill and, and uh, the closest supply register, I went to the actual unit and checked in the uh, return filter rack and in the ductwork uh, about two foot away uh, from the evaporator coil and came up with roughly the, about the same same measurement. So it's not getting 18 to 21 degree temp difference. Now, it's been a couple minutes, uh, meaning like the unit's been running for probably about 15 minutes now. So as we run it, the wet bulb inside's gonna lower. Um, and right now, we are presently, right now, we are at 72 degrees wet bulb inside, okay? That's very, very high, all right? So the one time that you won't get 18 to 21 degree temp difference between the return and supply is if the unit, the evaporator coil is battling high humidity. So presently we have 45 degrees, all right, as a saturated temp for R22. We're at 75 PSIG, all right? So we follow that into the green and we're getting roughly 44 to 45 degrees uh, as a saturated temperature in the middle of the evaporator coil. All right, so we take that and we look at 69.5 and uh, we are at uh, 20, roughly 25 degrees uh, of superheat, roughly 25 degrees of superheat. So um, if we check our outside temp, okay, our outside temperature, we're, we're reading right about, we're right about 80 degrees, okay? This reads 79 degrees right now. We're about 80 degrees or so, okay? 80 degrees outside temp and 72 degrees inside wet bulb. And we are looking at 28 degrees as a target superheat. So as a target superheat at 28 degrees, we have a little bit less. We have 25 degrees of superheat. So we actually are good. It's, it's the actual temperature that we have on the suction line, the large line, minus the saturated temperature, all right? And if we have 25 degrees, we're within about three degrees of 28 degrees. So um, we're good, okay? So I did not add any refrigerant to this system at all. And, uh, you know, uh, we're just checking it just because we weren't getting that 18 to 21 degree temp difference, all right? So that's that. So the charge is correct. We don't do anything to this. You don't add more refrigerant or anything like that. Um, you know, the range of operation on an R22 system, a comfort cooling system, somewhere between 60 PSIG or maybe 59 degrees PSIG to 85 PSIG, all right, depending on the load. Right now, it's a fairly warm day, so you're at about 75 PSIG, and the middle of the evaporator cools 44 degrees. And uh, like I said, we have 25 degrees of superheat, which is correct if you if you look at your superheat charging chart. All right, now eventually this unit will get to 18 to 21 degree temp difference between the return and supply once it does the job of getting the wet bulb temperature inside the building down lower. All right, once it does that, then you will get that uh, better heat exchange. All right, so right now it's it's mainly battling with a uh, real high humidity in the house. But anyway. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.